in the previous video we had we were doing uh, <coughs> the identities trigonometric identities i will continue we have done only a couple of problems there i am continuing the same in this video i am taking problem now from april may 2017 9sc 01m april may 2017 in this paper there are two problems on identities one for two marks and the other one for five marks totally seven marks see in section a section a of this paper problem number uh 11 problem number 11 it goes like this prove that prove that 1 minus cos square theta into secant square 1 minus cos square a into secant square a is equal to uh, tan square a tan square a so this is for two marks a very simple problem for two marks again take the left hand side left hand side is 1 minus cos square a into secant square a now 1 minus cos square a can be written as sin square a 1 minus cos square a can be written as sin square a into secant square can be written as 1 by cos 1 by cos square a so this becomes sin square a this becomes 1 by cos square a the product of these two is sin square a by cos square a we know sin by cos is tan so sin square a by cos square a sin square a by cos square a is tan square a which is the right hand side so that's it this will fetch you two marks a very simple two steps you get the answer there is one more question in the same paper that is this is in section c section c this is for five marks section c problem number 26 problem number 26 prove that prove that square root of 1 minus sin a 1 minus sin a divided by 1 plus sin a is equal to is equal to secant a minus tan a minus tan a one such <coughs> problem we have already done in the first video there it was 1 minus cos a by 1 plus cos a i think here it is 1 minus sin a whatever it is take the left hand side square root of 1 minus sin a by 1 plus sin a now again same procedure this is we i have here a plus b so it is to be multiplied by a minus b that is conjugate 1 minus sin a divided by 1 plus sin a divide uh, multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 minus sin a if you have plus here you will get minus there if you have minus here you will get plus there 1 minus sin a so numerator will be root of 1 minus sin a the whole square that will be the numerator denominator will be 1 minus sin square a 1 minus that is a square minus b square so this will be 1 minus sin a the whole square divided by cos square a 1 minus sin square a can be written as cos square a now take the square root square root of this is 1 minus sin a by this is 
square root is cos a. Now divide it into two. One minus one by cos a minus sin a by cos a. One minus cos a is one minus cos one by cos a is secant a, and sin a by cos a is tan a. So secant a minus tan a. You got the right hand side. So this uh, problem is solved. You have proved that left hand side is equal to right hand side. So that's it. Next. We'll take up a problem from November, December two thousand sixteen. November, December. 2016 problem section c problem number 26 problem number 26 Prove that sin a by one minus cos a sin a by one minus cos a plus sin a by one plus cos a is equal to two cosecant a. Again, take the left hand side. On the left hand side, we have only sine and cos. No other ratio is there. No other trigonometric ratio is there. Sine a by one plus cos a. Again, this is addition of two fractions. Addition of two fractions means we have to take the LCM of the denominator. LCM is one minus cos a into one plus cos a. That is this into this. Here you have sin a, sin a into this will come there because this gets cancelled. One plus cos a plus sin a into one minus cos a. So this will be equal to. You open the brackets here. Sin a plus sin a into cos a is sin a cos a plus sin a into one sin a plus into minus minus sin a into cos a sin a cos a. This will be one minus. Cos square a a plus b into a minus b a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. This plus sine a cos a minus sine a cos a they get cancelled. So we are left with sine a plus sine a. So that will be two sine a. If you add sine a and sine a, you get two sine a. One minus cos square a is sine square a. So sine a sine a gets cancelled. We are left with two by sine a. This sine a, if it comes to the numerator, it becomes cosecant a. Two cosecant a. That is the right hand side. So we have proved that this is equal to that. There is one more problem here again of. Of two marks in the same paper in section A, section A of the same paper. Problem number ten. 
tan. If tan theta plus cot theta, if tan theta plus cot theta is equal to three, then show that show that cosecant theta into secant theta. Cosecant theta into secant theta is also equal to three. This problem could have been given as prove that or show that tan theta plus cot theta is equal to cosecant theta plus cosecant theta into secant theta. That way also it could have been given. Instead of that, he has given like this. Okay, no problem. So we will take up this tan theta plus cot theta. Is equal to three. Now tan theta can be written as sine theta by cos theta plus cot can be written as cos theta by sine theta. This is the thumb rule. First, if you have tan, cot, cosecant, then convert them into sine and cos. So is equal to three. This is equal to three. Now again, there are two fractions. Take the LCM of the denominators. LCM will be sine theta into cos theta. That will be the LCM. So here cos theta cos theta goes sine theta into sine theta. You will get sine square theta plus here sine theta sine theta gets cancelled. Cos theta into cos theta. You will get cos square theta. So sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. So one by sine theta into cos theta is three. Or sine theta can be written one by sine theta is nothing but cosecant theta into one by cos is nothing but secant theta. Secant theta that is equal to three because reciprocal of sine is cosecant, reciprocal of cos is secant. So, if you send this from denominator to numerator, it becomes cosecant. This becomes secant. Cosecant theta into secant theta is equal to three. This is what we have to prove. We have proved it, and it gets you get two marks for that. So, this is another we are asking. Next, April May two thousand sixteen. I'm going backwards. April May two thousand sixteen. A five marks question. Prove that question number section C. Section C, question number two. In section C, prove that secant theta by secant theta minus one plus secant theta by secant theta plus one. Is equal to two cosecant square theta. Two cosecant square theta. This is an identity to be proved. Now we can prove it. Uh, there is no necessity to convert it because these are conjugate. We can do it that way also. Or if you want, we can do it convert it into one by cos theta. That way also it can be done. It's easy to do it this way only. So take the left hand side. Left hand side is secant theta by secant theta minus one plus secant theta divided by secant theta plus one. So these are conjugate terms. So you can take the LCM usual procedure. Secant theta minus one a minus b into a plus b. This is a minus b. That is a plus b. 
here you get secant theta into secant theta plus 1 plus secant theta into secant theta minus 1. Now this will be a square minus b square secant square theta minus 1 square that is 1 secant theta into secant theta is secant square theta plus secant theta 1 into secant theta is secant theta plus secant theta into secant theta secant square theta minus secant theta this secant theta this secant theta they get cancelled because one is plus and the other one is minus secant square theta plus secant square theta will give you 2 secant square theta tan square theta by secant square theta minus 1 secant square theta minus 1 is tan square theta tan square theta now this will be 2 into 1 by, 1 by cos square theta divided by tan square theta is sin square theta by cos square theta this cos square theta, this cos square theta gets cancelled. So you are left with 2 into 1 by sin square theta. 1 by sin square theta can be written as cosec square theta that is the RHS. So we have proved that left hand side is equal to right hand side. This is it. This carries 5 marks. November, December 2015 I am moving backwards November, December Yes, we have done it. We have done this. Repeat it. And this also is repeated. This is November, December 2014. In 15, they have asked same questions repeated. So there is no point in repeating them. Section C, question number 2, for 5 marks, section C, question number 2, prove that sine to the power of 6 theta, sine to the power of 6 theta plus cos to the power of 6 theta is equal to 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta. This is to be proved. Again, I take the left hand side. Sin to the power of 6 theta plus cos to the power of 6 theta. Now, this what I do is sin square theta the whole cube plus cos square theta the whole cube. Now this is of the form a cube plus b cube a cube plus b cube. Now this a cube plus b cube can be factorized factorized as a plus b into a square plus a b plus 
b square. This will be the factors of a cube plus b cube. If you get doubt, you can multiply these two and see whether you are getting the answer or not. Answer or not. See, a into a square will be a cube. a into a b will be a square b. I think this is minus. This is minus a square b. a into plus a b square. Next, a square b plus a square b. Then minus a b square plus b cube. See, this gets cancelled. These two get cancelled. So you are left with a cube plus b cube. So the factors of a cube plus b cube are a plus b into a square minus a b in a b plus b square. So that must be used here. What you get will be a plus b means sine square theta plus cos square theta. A is sine square theta. B is cos square theta. Multiplied by a square. That is sine square theta the whole square. Plus, I'll take b square, cos square theta the whole square, minus ab, ab will be sin square theta, cos square theta. This is a cube, this is b cube. In the place of a, you have sin square theta. In the place of b, we have cos square theta. So, a plus b into a square plus b square minus a b, I got it. Now, this becomes 1. This is 1. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. We have proved it already. This multiplied by, here, this is a square plus b square. Now, a square plus b square will be equal to a plus b the whole square minus 2ab minus 2ab, that is algebra, algebra, a plus b the whole square, minus 2ab will be equal to a square plus b square. So this can be written as sin square theta plus cos square theta, a plus b the whole square, minus 2 sin square theta, cos square theta. This is this, this is this, this is equal to this, minus sin square theta cos square theta, right, close the bracket. Now, 1 into anything is same, so this will go, this will become, again, sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1, 1 square, minus, these two can be added, because this is also sin square theta cos square theta, this is also sin square theta cos square theta, minus 2 minus 1 here. If nothing is there, it means 1. If you add those two, it will be 3 sin square theta cos square theta. So, this will be equal to 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta. That is the right hand side. This is the right hand side. We have proved it. So carries five marks. Start. The next problem I have selected from April May 2013. April May 2013. Section C. Section C problem number two. Prove that sin theta plus cos theta, sin theta plus cos theta multiplied by tan theta plus cot theta, tan theta plus cot theta is equal to secant theta, secant theta plus cosecant theta. Again, as usual, 
will take the left hand side left hand side is sin theta plus cos theta into tan theta plus cot theta this is the left hand side first i will copy it then this i will keep as it is because this is sin theta this is cos theta i will not change these two here i will change it tan theta i will write as sin theta by cos theta plus cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta so this i will take as it is sin theta plus cos theta into here i will take lcm lcm is sin theta into cos theta lcm of denominators then add these two that is cos theta cos theta gets cancelled i will get sin square theta here here you will get cos square theta now <coughs> this will be sin theta plus cos theta multiplied by 1 by sin theta cos theta or it will be sin theta divided by sin theta cos theta plus cos theta divided by sin theta cos theta so here sin theta sin theta gets cancelled here cos theta cos theta gets cancelled so what is left here 1 by cos theta 1 by cos theta plus 1 by sin theta 1 by cos theta is secant theta plus 1 by sin is cosecant theta this is our right hand side right so i got the right hand side so i'll finish that carry 5 marks there is five marks that's how it is to be done i hope you have understood it once again i want you to uh, subscribe like share comment you can give comments on this also okay thank you